Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. To keep this podcast free, we're partnering with Stoke Seeds. Indoor seed starting is fun, easy, and economical. Now's the time to start your seeds. If you're looking to grow vegetable variety or add a punch of color to your flower garden, review the Stoke Seeds Starting Guide online. You'll find information about soil preparation, moisture, temperature, light, transplanting, and more. The Stoke Seeds website is a complete resource center you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Get growing with Stokes. Now, today's question. Uh, We also had an email from Brandon, and Brandon says, I have a large area that would be perfect for Shasta daisies. Can I start those from seed, and when would be the timing on planting those? Okay. Um, the answer is yes. Someplace along the line, all all of them got started from seed. Then there are, of course, cuttings and et cetera. But um, if you saved flower heads, dried, and put them in envelopes and so on, you, you could save from your own or from somebody else's garden. So you definitely can start them from seed. Now, you have an option of starting them indoors in... Um, well, I, I still would go before April 1. I would have the, the trays, the peat moss and or potting mix ready, uh, et cetera. I would have some chains hanging from a floor joist in the basement uh, so that the light, the, the um, well, the big parallel bulbs will be down within about three or four inches of the soil. So they get lots of high light. They will germinate. And come up and the, each week maybe or whatever the interval is, as they start to grow taller, you move the hooks for the lamp up on the chain so you just keep raising it. But at all times, you want that bulb within about six inches of the top of the plant. And that gets you started. And then by May 15, out they go. And um, I'm not sure about cultivars or all the varieties, et cetera. But I would imagine if you start that early, you'd have a plant that flowers for you uh, even yet this year. And uh, my question would be, uh, you know, every time I see Shasta daisies, there's usually a big patch mm-hmm. of them. Right. And, and how long does it take for them to spread or how many do you have to plant to get? Can you get a big patch like that in the first year? Well, I'm going to say yes. Now, I'm I'm starting him off on the table in the basement type of thing. Uh, e- even if he were to wait until uh, May 1, because we are, we're getting warm enough in the soil, and hopefully the light's up there and, and so on, he could cultivate an area two, three, four inches deep with um, good organic matter, uh, stay on what I'll call higher ground. <laughs> Find that right now. If it's dry at this point, it's going to be a good place for Shastas. Um, it, it would be a matter of just scattering seed over the area that you'd like to have. Um, three by three foot, four by four, and I'm not talking squares or rounds, but in a, in a patch, in a, in a perennial garden, uh, because most of them will indeed be perennials, not all probably, but, um, yeah, he can, he could probably start in trays and, and go with a hundred to start with quite easily on, on my, my raise the light bench type of thing, or out in the garden, uh, right at the May one period, they'd be germinating about the middle of May. They would get some cold treatment from Mother Nature's cooler nights, but I think it would be safe at that point for them. Um, even to the extent if if it was going to freeze and he had scattered seed outdoors uh, at that point in time, a piece of uh, cheesecloth thrown over the top of them would probably keep frost from settling in them. And I, I would think that whatever amount of seed he has, uh, I would think of... And you, you can't quite make this happen. But I would think of seeds every four inches both ways in a row, uh, as starter point as getting up and, uh, having enough plants to survive to make a good garden of them the first year. Thanks again for listening to the podcast. Remember, lose the winter blues and garden indoors. Start your indoor seeding with the help of Stokes Gardening Guide plus their online articles. For the best selection of vegetable, flower, and herb seeds available, go to stokeseeds.com. Catalogs are still available. Cultivating successful growers for generations.